Hey, I'm Jeff from Atomic Gamer, and this is a review of World of Warcraft Cataclysm. If you're an avid World of Warcraft player, well, you probably are already playing this game and you're not watching this video review. You don't need it. I mean, you've got your game, you've got the people you're playing with, and that's great. But if you're thinking of starting in, in World of Warcraft right now, or you're thinking of starting over, or you're thinking of coming back, then now's a pretty good time. I mean, if you're going to pick any time to do it. But there are some caveats. We're going to go through uh, what makes World of Warcraft so great, what makes Cataclysm specifically great, and, and what you need to know if you're going to uh, come back to WoW or if you're going to start fresh. Cataclysm is the third expansion pack for World of Warcraft. The first two were, were wonderful games, uh, but there were some differences and some changes that have happened in, in that time. Uh, the last expansion pack to be released, uh, Wrath of the Lich King, is about two years ago. And when it was first released, one of the problems was that there wasn't that much for players to do once they made level 80. Uh, Blizzard's put a lot of effort into trying to fix that uh, by, by increasing the difficulty by giving you better rewards and, and, and a better uh, scheme of, of, of stepping up your game and then getting rewards based on an improvement in your game uh, and then just, just, just better feedback. In past expansion packs, we've seen new lands unlock, but this time around, Cataclysm focuses on the original two continents of Azeroth, Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms. There's a new villain, his name is Deathwing, he's a huge dragon, and he busts out of the center of the planet, destroying whole sections of the game world of the old Azeroth. And it's been recreated now as the new Azeroth. The villain is Deathwing, and at some point during the end of the expansion, people will be going to kill him. Once you've made level 60 in the new Azeroth, you'll still go back and do Burning Crusade and Lich King as their expansion packs from levels 60 to 80. When you're done with that though, you come back again to Azeroth and do levels 80 to 85 in these new zones. Some of them are integrated into Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. Uh, they just sort of appeared on the map in some cases or uh, re-enabled uh, as zones that used to actually exist in the game world but weren't accessible before. And there's also some new zones in the Maelstrom, which is sort of the ocean in between the two continents. These new zones, of course, they follow the same quest style as we've seen in in Lich King and in the new Azeroth from 1 to 60. Uh, but it's, it's, it's even better than it was before. Uh, the quests are more interesting. You'll find that there's fewer of those uh, collect 10 Gortusk livers kind of problems or, or, or just weird quests that make no sense. Generally here they make sense and there's a, a plot line that is followed and that really helps make this game better. There are also new dungeons uh, in both normal and heroic modes. And these are important steps that you have to take in those order. Normal, heroic mode, uh, with the gear that goes along with them so that you can step up to the raids. And the raids are difficult. This time around, unlike with Lich King, you, people aren't gonna be finishing raids in the first couple weeks of release. Now, most people are barely getting into raids two weeks after release, and they're not doing well in them. And that's actually a good thing, because that means people need skill and gear and it's gonna take a little more than a couple weeks to get through all the content, especially when we know that Blizzard's first major content patch, the next uh, bit of extra rating that people will be playing, is probably months away. So it's important that this stuff last us. And yeah, it might be difficult, it might be frustrating, but boy does it feel good when you actually get it done. There's some new PVP in Cataclysm as well. Uh, there's rated battlegrounds now that you can go into. They're, they're kind of like the way the arenas were, where you create a group uh, and you don't just queue up with random people. You actually have to create one. And then you go into a 10 versus 10 or a 15 versus 15 uh, battleground. And when you win, you actually get arena points and rating like you would uh, the old 2v2, 3v3, and 5v5 arena matches. The other thing is, is there's a new zone, uh, an outdoor zone called Tol Barad. It's a PvP zone, kind of like the way Wintergrass was in Lich King, uh, an open world sort of zone where the, a fight starts every two hours, and whoever gets control of that zone gets to 
run a different raid zone uh, called Barret and Hold where you can get PvP gear. Of course, we have the progression of trade skills as we've seen in past expansion packs. Uh, there will be new skill levels to achieve, there will be new recipes, new items you can make, and, and really better your character. But there's also a, a new secondary trade skill. It's one that everybody can take. It's called Archaeology, and it allows you to sort of explore the old world and dig up all these weird things. And There's some actually pretty cool loot uh, down in there, but it is kind of grindy and a little boring and dull. But it probably pays off in the end. We just, most people haven't seen it yet. I want to take a minute to talk about Deathwing. He's the new villain in World of Warcraft Cataclysm, and he's better than the villains that we had in the past. Uh, in Burning Crusade, we didn't even see the villain most of the time. Most people don't even know his name. In Lich King, they sort of overplayed him, did Blizzard. Um, he was showing up in every quest uh, with this sort of James Bond villain style of letting you live while he walks off, assuming that you'll die and then you don't, like 15 times. Deathwing here, he's not meddling in your quests. He's flying around Azeroth and he's wrecking the place. And if you're unlucky enough to be in the zone when he decides to pay it a visit, well, you wind up dead on the floor, and he's, he doesn't even know you're dead. You're just like an ant to him. That's the kind of villain we want. Cataclysm introduces two new playable races. The Horde get the Goblins, and the Alliance get the Worgen. And I was originally kind of concerned over whether they were actually going to be worthy of being added to WoW. But after playing through both of their, uh, their intro quest sequences, it's not a problem. They're great. Both races are great additions to uh, each side, and I'm really looking forward to just seeing them integrate, well, kind of integrate into society. Whenever a new WoW expansion comes out, people always ask, really, you're going to play that game for 18 months, two years? Don't you ever get bored? But the thing is, is that Blizzard adds so much to their games with expansion packs, and this is no exception. Uh, Cataclysm is full of stuff to do for uh, Achievement whores, people who just want to level, casual players, dungeon runners, raiders, PvPers. There's something for everybody. And with the content patches that will surely get released, there's tons of stuff to do. It's a viable expansion pack. It's a viable way to play WoW and keep it going for at least another year or two or even more. Who knows? One of the biggest issues I think I have with World of Warcraft still is simply with the maturity level of the players. Blizzard has tried to increase the maturity level uh, with a few policy changes and stuff like that, but people resist it. And then when you get in game, they spew out stupid stuff in trade chat. Sometimes it's racist. Sometimes it's just completely inappropriate, which mm, that's probably fine. Most of us are adults anyway. But when you get into dungeons with some of these people, they know that you're never gonna see them again and they don't care how they play. They play awfully and everybody is punished as a result, as opposed to just that person. There's no punishment for people who play poorly because they just jump right back into another dungeon. Unfortunately, Blizzard just hasn't figured out a way to get people to play better through any in-game means of reputation or anything like that. I think that's something they need to focus on possibly in the future. One of the more important concerns about playing World of Warcraft is very simply in time management. This game will eat up so much of your time if you let it. And there's always something new to do. So what's important is that if you're gonna come back to WoW or if you're gonna start fresh, um, you just you need to make sure that you have the time to put into it. And to make sure that what you wanna do is something that gels with how much time you have to do it. Because it's very easy to let it go and then pretty soon World of Warcraft is screwing up your whole life. And that's not a good place to be. If you find that you're bad at managing time in video games, mm, maybe don't play World of Warcraft. One of the ways to avoid bad players in World of Warcraft is very simply to find good players and then never leave their sides. Whether it's a guild that you used to be in a while ago or with a, a new group of players if you're starting over fresh, you need to find good people and then play together with them. Because if you're left swimming with the puppies, the whole game can get ruined for you. So find good people, play together with them, and World of Warcraft is one of the best experiences you'll have in online gaming. A lot of gamers out there will say that World of Warcraft is the best MMORPG you can play. And frankly, Cataclysm, it really only makes it better. 
The thing is, is that you need to have the time and you need to have a group of players that's willing to help you make World of Warcraft the experience that it should be. If you have those and you're interested, definitely come back. This is a great time to play WoW, but if you don't have those, you may reconsider because World of Warcraft can suck up your life and spit it out. So be careful out there. I'll see you in Azeroth. So that's it for us. Check back on AtomicGamer.com for coverage of all your favorite games. Everything from news, previews, reviews, articles, files, screenshots, you name it, we probably have it.